Hey, yeah, what's up guys? We're at mission three in El Cid campaign. The exile of the Cid. Uh oh. Alfonso sent his most loyal and able servant, Rodrigo Diaz, the Cid, into exile with only his horse, Babieca. Myself and our two daughters were left at the monastery in Castile. When Rodrigo and I parted, it felt like a nail being torn from its finger. Rodrigo rode alone into the Castilian winter. He was not alone for long. Everywhere the Cid went, mercenaries and soldiers were eager to follow. Soon, he had a small army of his own. But the Cid was not content to wander the wilds of Castile forever. He needed a castle and a lord to serve. These two he found in the most unlikely of places. El Cid must find a new city in which to live and a new lord to serve, and he must survive. Uh, it's restricted a population of 100. Uh, no longer leads the Spanish army, so become familiar with the Saracen technology tree. El Cid does not view Alfonso as an enemy, so much as misguided. As such, you should not destroy anything of Alfonso's unless you are forced to. No one to fight or when to run away. You may need to destroy walls to that block your path, but only if there is no alternative. El Cid starts alone in exile. Do not fear, for you will soon find recruits to your cause. You will have little in the way of an... Uh, of an economy until you meet up with an old friend. King Alfonso is your enemy, but he is more of an annoyance than a threat. The real enemy is Count Berengua of Barcelona. You will send swordsmen, knights, scorpions, throwing axemen and battering rams your way. Mutamid the Moor is a potential ally, as are any other Moors that you may encounter. Right, Saracens were the Mameluk guys, I think. Yeah, okay, so we played as those guys before. I command that you leave my kingdom at once. Where's my horse? They said I would have a horse. There. Do not judge the king Alfonso too harshly. We will open the gates for you now. Godspeed. I feel like that's very easy to miss. So what then? Do you just play without your horse? 120 HP less. Less damage. Less armor I think as well. Slower. But I guess to be fair we're not vulnerable to pikemen then, right? That's enough of a head start. If the seed shows his face near our city again, you may open fire. Um. King Alfonso is a fool to send you into exile. We will follow where you lead, my seed. Noise. Kill those guys. Let's scout properly. So we're not missing anything. to let them attack El Cid so he can region but I guess easier said than done Let's get out of here. Greetings, my seed. My lord Motamid has heard of your situation and welcomes you to join him at his city of Saragossa. It is just a short ride to the southeast of here. Sure. My 
proceed. King Alfonso has blockaded the gap leading to Zaragoza. If we are to get through, we must siege his castle. Perhaps we can find the troops we need to the south. Let's dodge that castle, shall we? My seat. What Ooh. little we have is yours if you can just destroy Alfonso's castle to the north. I mean, sure. That's a relic, but we have no temple, huh? I wish we did so I could heal. A siege tower actually any good? I ever made one. Quick land transport used to unload units over enemy walls, resistant to archer attack. What if we put one of those guys into each of the battering rams, huh? Why did they all go into the same one? There we go. Let's go. I can only two attack. Fifty food, sure. Cavalry move faster. It's funny, so one battering ram would have been enough because he can't attack units close to him. nothing to gain by fighting against each other. Let us call a truce and each of us just go our separate ways. He is a bitch. I do need some healing. I wonder if they join us. We meet again, LC. You could not have arrived at a better time. The army of Count Berenger is approaching our gates. Defeat him, 
and you may have the land outside my city gates as your own. Well, that was easy enough. Is he gonna give me some work on now? Could use some. Or do we actually have to destroy the workshop? West of Saragossa. But be vigilant. Nah. The Renger may come again. Right then. Okay, well, what do we do? What do we have? I mean, dude, that bitch. Okay, he's an ally now. Where did his monk go? Uh, I actually have to get those guys. Nah. 
What a close fight, man. Figured out who attacked me, damn it. I do want to go grab that relic, but we can convert him back. Completely out of food. And I don't need the gold yet, so. Fuck, it's gone. God damn it. I guess I should have made a unit over there, huh? I was gonna st uh, gonna say, where do I get stone? But right over there. I don't remember what does what do Mamelukes cost? Gold and food? Yeah. So we don't need that many guys on lumber, which is nice. Very good. We can go Imperial. Oh, look at that.
Get out of here, man. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Two thousand gold, sweet. Dude, that's a lot of monks. What the heck? Sending so many. Probably take some from gold and put them on food. Huh? Well, let's gather some food, I guess. Three workers should be plenty, right? How much do you have to cut it so you can actually build there? I guess quite a bit. And finally, we're teching. Still feel like I need more food. But I guess that's because all the upgrades cost food. Oh. 
Oh yeah, the monk AOE heal. Lovely. Gone. Upgrade the rams. More mamelukes. Easy peasy. Now oh, let's see. Lots of gold. Good. Not gonna make any units now for a bit. Not quite sure what I'm looking for. Because we don't actually need anything anymore. Like there's no resource that we need to find. I just want to get all my upgrades now, but they are pretty expensive. Everything costs loads of food. I guess I could just make an army. I do want this upgrade, but again, thousand food. When am I ever gonna have that? Building outside his walls. Crazy. You know what, to be fair, we can take these guys, I think, and just make, make farms with them. Oh, that's what the sound is. Just converting. Oh, 
I got everything now. <laughs> but now I'm running low on lumber again. Got this upgrade. Military buildings go faster. What's with this guy? Where did he go? Oh, he went down there to bring the food. Let's see. Yeah, man, now I need lumber. God damn it. Right, forget it. Let's go kill this guy. How much damage does the uh, cannon tower deal? Like nothing. What the fuck? What is it even good at? I actually managed to get two, huh? Probably has loads of relics in here. Yo, that upgrade is actually very cheap. Yo, this base is tiny. Oh my god, we could have killed him ages ago. What? Dude. Really? No way. Casually chilling here with five relics. Oh, my God. Lord of Zaragoza was a gifted leader of men, but like many of the Moors, he was also a poet and artist. The cultural achievements of the Moors made the rest of Europe seem barbaric in comparison. As the Sith parlayed with Lord Motamid in his sumptuous palace, he feasted on meals that came floating down an indoor stream. Motamid bestowed rich gifts on the Sith and made him a wealthy man. But the Sith Ever the loyal servant of Castile, convinced Motami to ratify a treaty, making Zaragoza part of Castile. The Cid never fought openly against King Alfonso, though he did make enemies with Count Berenguer, 
and other Spanish lords who wanted only tributes of gold from the Moors and were not interested in making alliances with them. Count Berenguer would remain the Cid's enemy for many years. Oh dear. Dude, his army was huge, but I think that was even before we had a base. Yeah, we got villages here, so this is when we killed his attack. And then his army dropped, because I think he attacked me with a shit ton, right? And then he never really made anything after that. My god, we, we could have killed him ages ago. He has nothing. Well, he did have five relics. Gold. There's no way I made more, is there? Isn't there somewhere like a stat that shows relic gold? Relics captured two. Why does it say zero? Relic gold. There, nah, 6,000 gold from relics. Villager high 14. Oh my god. I'm overdoing it. I guess I should just play more aggressive, huh? GG.